Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have something interesting to review. Today we are reviewing the HG 1-24 skill by the way. It is the Spherical Striker Mugen Azami Mochizuki type. So basically these are the those uh, clunky looking mechs that you see from the Sakura Tyson. Now there are two Sakura Tyson animes as far as I know. There's the original one and then this one is from the from the more latest one, Sakura Tyson, the, the anime or the animation. Uh, so basically, the this version uh, takes in place, or this new version of the anime takes in place 14 years. I think it is 14 years after uh, the original series. So it's like the if there's a Gen 1, there's like a Gen 2 kind of situation. So yeah. Of course, machine-wise, I think this is like Gen 4 or 5-ish, uh, numerically-wise, because the ones that we see in the original series are called like something something 3, so who knows. Alright, so these were, I believe, released in 2020-ish, and then I, while I was pretty interested because I did actually enjoy watching the original anime, and I did watch the, the new anime as well, so I did really want to try this out, but once again, there were a lot of stuff going on, and I there was a specific version I wanted to get, which was the white one that uses the, the double katanas used by the commander. Uh, never got the chance to get that, so after trying and trying a few times, I decided to give up because I did not want to pay three times the price of the original price. Alright, so, uh, so there are like four to five variants of this, or I think, uh, five to six to be more specific. So yeah, so, uh, and most of them share like the same base form, so most of them should have the same build and the same format, but it's all about different colors and different details a, a little bit here and there. So yeah, so we're gonna go over the leftover parts, but keep in mind most of the leftover parts are from that aspect I just mentioned. So here we go. So uh, number one, we have some shoulder pieces because I believe the command, depending on the unit or he, who uses it, they have a different shoulder design. And here we have the shoulder armor. And then most of, uh, once again, we have some leftover polycaps and I just dropped something metal. Oops, sorry about that. And then here we have these parts, which is, I assume is for the arms, but it's just like different details or size or design, so, which is why we have this left, left or pieces. So, and then, because it's for the arms, obviously you get double. And then here we have a gold plate, so here are for the shoulders again, so there's one shoulder, and then here's the other shoulder. So I assume if I actually do get the white version, I assume, uh, it, that one will be using all the leftover pieces and then will be replaced as well. So, oh well. And then for sticker wise, number one, we do get a sticker, one sticker sheet for the eye. So, we, this uses one of those orb stickers, like the, the Wing Gundam chest stickers, the kind of thing. And then we actually get water slides. Now, the reason why we get water slides is because of like certain specific details. Like for the pilot, uh, you have the choice of eyes. Now, the eyes are a little bit too separated to left and right. But once again, um, you have the choice to use which type of eyes here. I believe they, they look all the same to me, but once again, they could have different expressions. And then here we have this scar mark, which this specific unit pilot is a ninja, and hence uh, they wanted to like emphasize that aspect. So there is like, in the anime, uh, this mech would actually have like a scar on, on the face here, which is supposed to go around here. So there should be like, there, there is even a small engraving here, so yeah. And then, once again, uh, while I was expecting a little bit of stickers, but I wasn't expecting this amount of stickers. This is just too much, I'm not gonna lie. So after seeing the sticker sheet, I kinda lost all my interest in trying out the other one. So I think I'm gonna just do this one and then never buy these again. So most of these stickers are for like gold trimmings, lines for all the parts, for even for the weapons, and then even like the like the bolt details that you see in the knee armors and such, they're all stickers going on here. As you can see, I just tried not to use as many as possible and I tried to color most of them as well. Of course, I did skimp on them because once again, uh, it was this amount of stickers, it's not ideal to use all of it. All right, so, uh, and then equipment wise, obviously you get the main unit, you get the shield weapon, which is, well, this originally does work as a shield, but although in the anime, this also works in, as a weapon. So, um, I don't think that this thing really has a specific name. Yeah, but yeah, this is basically a shield with a claw. So yeah, we obviously we have these three claws and this works as a shield. As you can see, these all these gold parts are supposed to be stickers. I decided to use a, a metallic Gundam gold marker to call these parts. 
These white sections are stickers, gray is a separate piece. You can see the green eyes are separate stickers. Now this white and gold section on the nose area, now that is an entirely um, a big piece of sticker. So the white gold is all one single piece. So you can see like this thing uses a lot of stickers itself. And then here we have a small bit blade here. So like a, I wouldn't say this is a katana, but yeah, you can see this is like a, a short blade as well. And we get a action base connector. All right, so now let's get on to the review. All right, now despite how clunky and chunky these things look like in the anime, they are actually pretty agile as well. So yeah. All right, uh, equipment wise, there's also these kunai things on the arm, which I don't think these are meant to be thrown. This is also supposed to be used as like close combat weapons, as far as I can tell, like this. So, or you can split them up if you want to do so. Yeah, they're like if if you want to like get into the details really much, you have to like look really in. You have to watch the anime and then look into real deep in what they're doing as well. All right, so now despite how clunky this thing is, there is articulation. So. Nothing to be surprised there. As I mentioned before, the uh, the only sticker you actually get, oh well, the the special sticker you get is the eye orb sticker. So this is not a cl uh, plastic piece. This is one of those orb stickers from uh, for like specific uses, like the wing on the chest area. All right. So from the right, uh, right from the bat, what they did pretty good is like the gold. Other than besides uh, the terrible gold stickers, is that you can see like they did good, do a, a good amount of part separation with the gold pieces here and there. So well done but i think they should have done a little bit more on, on that as well and once again you can actually open this section up to reveal the pilot figure here so that's where the water slide sticker for the eyes go to so yeah all right so uh let's start with the you know front here so obviously there is a little bit of four side to side movement going on here there's no way you can go 360 that's not even possible in the anime so it makes sense uh, no ab crunch. I don't think this thing even has an ab at, at the first place. All right, now for the arms, they, the main connection here is a ball joint, so you do have a forward and backward movement. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, so no, don't don't do it too rough, or it's it's gonna you know pop out like that. Forward and backward movement is possible, and since it is on a ball joint, 360 is possible, and also the shoulder armor is on a ball joint, so you do have a little bit of freedom of movement there. Uh, and oh yeah, also forgot to mention this. Uh, there's also this yellow small piece. I have no idea where it goes. That's a leftover. All right. So and then the arms can go to the side. Actually, let me just push this back in first to give you guys an explanation. Yeah, I am not too happy with the shoulder connection here because the way how it connects, it's a very odd connection here. So either way. Um, you are able to go to the side less than 90 degrees, but once you have the shoulder on, now that, that you, you're going to have to do it a very specific way like this. But once again, less than 90 degrees is possible. And when the arm is like this, let me, let, let me just rip the arm off. So here is the uh, norm, normal state of the arm here. So you can see the arm here. You can see there's barely any movement here. So you can see it has like, what, 10 degree or 5 degree bend here. But that's not... And, but the good news is that's not that's not all of it. So what you can do is you can extend the joint here, and now you have roughly about a 90 degree bend going on here. So that is pretty well done. So uh, yeah, so this also works on the legs, which I will show later. And then other than that, you do still have the 360 twist on the arm itself, and the hands are your typical, uh, well not typical, uh, te technically. Um, yeah, technically plastic ball jointed uh, hands. Now the hands you can see are the claw type uh, hands. But once again, don't get fooled. These do not actually, well, you can actually do open them up. But once again, depending on the situation, you might need to just pop this out and then connect the weapon here. So you can see there's a hole there. And you can see, if you remember, the, the blade actually has a, uh, a peg for the handle, a uh, peg on the handle, so you can have a more firm connection. So, despite how this looks, you can kind of fake the claw thing, but once again, uh, you still need to take it off, uh, off for a more ideal connection here. So, that's that. And here is the main peg for connecting the shield. So, anything that, that in the series that doesn't have a shield or doesn't have any arm connections will not have this and will be using the other left or pieces. So yeah, for for the sake of review, let me just take off one arm here. So you can see from the side it is a very chunky uh, mech here. And but considering how the pilots go in, yeah, it makes sense. And these aren't exactly gigantic robots in the anime. They're like 
um, slight, they're about maybe two times the height of a human, maybe roughly. So that's that. And looking at the back here, we have a we have these turbines, steam engines, uh, valves, and, uh, and such. So yeah, uh, I believe in the anime, these parts are do actually constantly spin around like a like a train steam engine going here. Now none of these parts actually move, so no need to worry about that. This part does not spin. Now this gold trim here is also supposed to be a sticker. I decided to color in a metallic gold marker. Same goes for here as well. Uh, and yeah, and this part is a supposed to use a sticker for some reason, so yeah. Alright, so the arm, nothing too special here. Uh, now let's go over the legs here. Now here, you can see there is a hole here, and on the other side there isn't. Now, uh, the manual did give, definitely gave a interesting, uh, how should I say, order of building this. So originally they made, they made, make you clog this hole up. And once you're done, they tell you to take this part off, and then take off that part that's clogging the hole and then uh, attach the blade here. So that's how it's supposed to work here. And here's another good example of how these trims work. So these separate gold pieces work like this. So most of the time you get the yellow piece and then you, sl you slide on or slap on the gold trimming parts like that. Not the best connections. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. But once again, it works. So if you want, if you're getting annoyed, I think you can. It is safe to say you can glue these on if you want to do so. All right. Now these may look like uh, they. These do technically work as side skirts, but the connection here is actually in the front as a as a polycap ball joint, which is kind of interesting. But once again, the legs. You can see gold trimmings are falling apart once again. Uh, let me just take that out. And then you can go for roughly, well not roughly, less than 90 degrees going backwards, not so much. The back skirt does not move at all going to the side. Once again, a lot of parts are colliding with each other, so not much in terms of articulation. Now bend-wise, you can see uh, there's barely any bend going on here. But once again, you can extend the joint like that. And then now you have a you know less than 90 degree bend. And with this, this actually increases the height of the unit so once again it does become a slightly taller as well all right and then feed wise are your well not your typical but uh, it, it is have have the you know the common ball jointed feet going on here as well so going forward and backward pivot does exist but once again because of the design there's not much space i'm not gonna lie so you're gonna have to like wiggle wiggle your way through in terms of doing certain poses here all right, and that is pretty much it for in terms of articulation here. But once again, um, like these parts, like these bolts parts, these knee parts, those require all of those uh, gray stickers going on here. And then there's also like a few other stickers that requires you to fold around here and there. And I decided to not to use them because the more stickers obviously is applied to this kit, the more messier it's going to get. So I think if you're going to get this, I think like painting is going to be the better option here. And keep in mind, even the shoulders here, these golden trims here, these, not, not this handle, but th these lines here, those are also supposed to be stickers. And keep in mind, that I only did one, but I believe it was the shoulders that requires like uh, a sticker that goes only to a certain point here. So that's going to be even more trickier to apply. And e even if I did use the stickers, it's going to get really messy. All right, so uh, I think I'll be, uh, so I think there's only one thing left to show and it's to show off the equipment. So I'll be right back with an action pose and we will end it off there. Okay, I'm back. Now after fiddling around with the kit for like two to three minutes and the f for some reason the arms constantly falling out, uh, I came to the conclusion that this thing is not really easy to pose in a, as much as I thought it would be. So number one, every time I try to move the arms around, they would either pop out or something on the hand tends to like fall off here. And so it is a little bit tricky to do so. Now, the, the arm does hold the shield with no problem at all because it has a firm connection. But the hand on the other hand, um, I can't say it's the best connection here. Now, at least thanks to the, the peg here, it does kind of kind of lock it into place but once again depending on the situation it may fall off pretty easily now luckily um if you want to hold the the, the blade in either hands or in either front on top or downwards you can always um rotate the handle and then swap positions here so i think you should have no problems holding the blade in which direction or which hand if you want to do so uh, and I almost for forgot now, despite how the legs look like, you do have the rotation point on the mid joint here. So you can reposition the legs. So if your pivot is not enough, you can always reposition that with 
uh, with the with the rotating points as well. Now another thing is that the eyes do not move at all, so they don't move side to side like a. Uh, I believe in the anime they, they do kind of move, but in this case they don't. So uh, now when you're posing this, now the direction of the eye may feel a little bit off. So yeah. But anyway, that is pretty much it. So while once again, despite how clunky it is, it does have some articulation. But once again, because of the general design itself, uh, whatever you, it is going to feel clunky in general. So or maybe it's just the weapon, especially this big gigantic shield is making it feel like it's more clunky so if I ever do for some reason try out another one hopefully that will feel a little bit better because I feel like there's a lot of like limitations or it feels more clunkiness because of shield because it's constantly colliding with the shoulders or arms or other places as well anyway that is pretty much it for the review so if you guys got any questions or requests leave them in the comment below I still have more stuff to buy and build now these days I am trying to review stuff that I wanted to try out but was too busy to review it or something else was going on so I am actually preparing a lot more other uh, kits toys figures that I wanted to try out but never got to my chance to actually review them so please stay tuned until then see you guys next time